Pranam and welcome to the second edition of Jain Avenue. I'm Rahul Kapoor Jain, a motivational speaker and a mindset coach from Bangalore in India. Our topic this time is Say No to More. Human beings' never-ending quest for more has finally begun to take its toll. And the obvious impact is climate change, both in terms of global warming, which is driven by greenhouse gases, and the last shift in the weather conditions. The burning of massive quantities of fossil fuels to burn and run modern societies has increased the concentration of carbon dioxide and methane in the atmosphere. These gases in Earth's atmosphere block heat from escaping. This is what we call the greenhouse effect. To make things simple, what I have done is pulled out a simple animation from NASA's website. Have a look at this. We can see here sunlight reaching the Earth. Some energy is reflected back into the space. Some is absorbed and re-radiated as heat. But most of the heat is absorbed by the greenhouse effect. And that is reflected back in all directions. That is why our Earth is getting warmer each year. Now, all this is resulting into natural catastrophes such as fire, massive hurricanes, droughts, melting of glaciers and flooding of low-lying lands. Thousands of plants and animal species are going extinct every year due to habitat loss and changing climate. Human beings are at an increased risk of getting affected by diseases such as malaria, dengue, Zika and now COVID-19. While we are struggling with a very daunting and discouraging environmental issues, we still have a ray of hope. Some of the principles that I will share with you in this video will become the very foundation of a sustainable future built on the principles of respect, compassion and discipline. So here are our three big ideas. Number one, Parasparo Pagraho Jivanam, which means all life is bound together with mutual support and interdependence. We must learn to see the whole universe as a great cosmic rhythm. And we humans are a part of it. We must therefore conduct ourselves in harmony. Remember that everything works according to its nature. But when we go against our quality of love, kindness and friendship for all living beings, we actually tune ourselves out of that rhythm. So, as a first step, let's acknowledge that there are many invisible lives that makes our single day livable and comfortable. We should respect the right of all life to exist and learn to live in harmony rather than exploiting them. With that understanding, we are now ready for our next big idea. Ahimsa Parmo Dharmaha Nonviolence is the most essential duty for everyone. Ahimsa means the renunciation of hurting, destroying or causing pain of all living beings, whether the living being is mobile or immobile, one sense or five senses. Commit yourself to live a non-violent life and begin this journey by confessing and repenting for the harms you have done or caused to other living beings in the past. A simple next step is go veg. Vegetarianism is an integral part of the practice of Ahimsa. Numerous studies have shown that the commercial meat production industry is a major contributor of greenhouse gas emission. Not eating meat, in effect, is essential to curb climate change. Also reduce food wastage. Not raising animals for food. Stop polluting the environment with chemical fertilizers and pesticides in farming. Do not engage in any profession that harms plants, animals and the earth. This way, you will become a truly global citizen and your small contributions will actually make a very, very big difference. Number three, make a parigraha a way of life. This means practice non-possessiveness and limit your consumption. Wants should be reduced, desires should be curtailed and consumption level should be kept within reasonable limits. Using any resource beyond one's needs and misuse of any part of nature is considered a form of theft. Producing material goods that we own and use requires the mining of raw materials and the expenditure of energy which is usually derived from fossil fuels. 
manufacturing also creates vast quantities of waste byproducts which are often toxic. Owning more material goods beyond necessities does not make people happy. However, it definitely does cause harm to other living beings. A popular saying from 70s defines this ethic so beautifully. Live simply so others can simply live. Think how you can reduce, reuse and recycle. Well, now it's time for us to summarize our three big ideas. Number one, imbibe the principle of Parasparo Pagraho Jivanam. Number two, practice Ahimsa Parmodharmaha. Number three, make a Parigraha a way of life. So let me share with you our final parting message based on a very powerful universal principle, which is what you give is what you get. What you get is what you deserve. This is the law of karma. Anything said and done in this world is echoed back with the same intensity. This ecological crisis that we are all facing is an echoing back of our own thoughts, words and actions. So if you want to have a good, bright future, then I guess it's time for us to do something about our present. That is Jainism Simplified.